Hello friends, today we are going to discuss important molecular techniques in genetic engineering, plotting techniques, nucleic acid plotting techniques, nucleic acid plotting techniques. What exactly the nucleic acid plotting techniques? These are the techniques which, which these are the analytical techniques which are useful in specific identification of the desired DNA or RNA fragments. How they are useful in specific identification? Simply by immobilization of the sample nucleic acids over a solid surface. That means by immobilizing a solid a, a particular nucleic acid on a solid surface, you specifically that means we can specifically identify the desired DNA fragment. And after that, the hybridization, then that already we it's about, about, the, about the basics of uh, nucleic acid blotting techniques and depending on the kind of nucleic acid involved in the technique there are different kinds like southern blotting technique for dna northern blotting technique for rna dot blotting technique both for dna and rna and western blotting technique for proteins you know nucleic acid technique is useful for specific identification specific identification of desired DNA or RNA fragments by immobilizing by immobilizing on solid surface depending on the kind of nucleus involved there is southern blotting technique Southern blotting technique, northern blotting technique, dot blotting technique, then western blotting technique. Southern blotting technique is for DNA, DNA identification. Northern blot technique is for RNA, dot blot technique is for both DNA or RNA, and western blotting technique is for protein. It is southern, is named after the scientist E.D. Southern, 1975. The first ever nucleic acid blotting technique is pioneered by E.D. Southern. That is why southern blotting technique. Whereas Northern, Western is with respect to laboratory technical jargon. So depending on the kind of nucleic acid, more different plotting techniques are there. You know, plotting techniques are essential analytical techniques in various domains of genetic engineering. We have discussed about, you know, restriction fragment length polymorphisms. We have discussed about, you know, polyacetic issues like DNA fingerprinting. It is an integral part in these issues and also in evaluation of gene expression. So that means even the quantification of the gene expression and you know and trying to find out the number of genes. So it, these are all different advantages or applications of blotting technique. Okay, we'll discuss one by one. But before that, I would like to give you a, a basic protocol of blotting techniques for better understanding. So we can discuss one by one. That, that means the typical representation. Plastic tray, the solid, solid support block, support block, this transfer buffer, this transfer buffer. Then this is filtered paper wick. Filtered paper wick. Then the gel well. The gel. The membrane. The membrane. The filtered paper. filter paper 
cardboard tissues. Cardboard tissues. No glass plate. Then the weight. Typical cell support block in the filter paper, the gen, the membrane, the filter paper, the filter paper wing, the paper tissue, the glass plate, and the weight. The typical representation of blotting technique. Okay, in theory, it, just for understanding, in the form of schematic presentation, first the sample restriction endonucleases activity that means smaller fragments fragments broken down fragments broken down fragments electrophoresis Electrophoresis, then blood transfer, that means hybridization here, hybridization here, then auto radiography, auto radio. Subjected to certain amendments, certain amendments. This is, this is a schematic representation, you know. Schematic representation of blotting procedure. You know how it works. First, that means. We have different blotting techniques like southern for DNA, northern for RNA, dot for DNA and RNA, western for protein. Subject to different, you know, across the length and breadth of different techniques, there are certain amendments. But overall, in general, first we have to get this isolated samples, let's say genomic DNA, then fragment the sample, that means with the help of restriction endonucleases, that means digestion of the fragment, of uh, the nucleic acid, constant nucleic acid. Then, Followed by the electrophoresis separation. That means agarose or polyagramid electrophoresis. Then blood transfer. Nitrocellulose membrane or a nylon membrane. So in case of RNA, we use a specific chemical reactive paper. What we call diazo benzyloxymethyl paper. DBM. That means I told already there are certain amendments. Then hybridization type of DNA flow. Then autoradiography. With respect to dot blotting, which is used for DNA and RNA, the electrophoresis technique, that means the step has been avoided. So we will discuss how it went. So, so but it is the overall scenario. Sample, enzyme activity, electrophoresis, the blood transfer, hybridization, autoradiography. It is a schematic presentation. Okay. We will discuss one by one. The first southern blotting technique. Southern blot detecting, I told already, it is for DNA. Southern blotting technique. Now, how it works? First, we have to get the cellular genome. Cellular genome. Then, Restriction endonucleases. Restriction endonucleases leads to even small fragments, no digestion. Then gel electrophoresis. Say agarose gel electrophoresis. 
you can observe the large fragments, large DNA fragments and the small DNA fragments. Why? Because small DNA fragment they move faster. Since DNA is a negative molecule, I mean negative charge, it moves towards the anode. We all knew that. Say so here the kind of gel is agarose gel. That means gel, agarose gel. Then after this, during this process, mild alkalosis. That means for denaturation. Then blood transfer onto a nitrocellulose membrane and also exact replica has been created. Blood transfer nitrocellulose membrane. Then hybridization. DNA probe, what we call DNA probe, complementary base pairing. Then finally, hybridization bands. You know, hybridization bands. Hybridization bands. What we call autoradiography. DNA. Okay, so these are the different steps in southern blotting technique. First, you have to isolate the cellular genome, then separate the cell to restriction and don't neglect the activity to small fragments. Then, separation, then the help of agarose electrophoresis in the DNA, the negative charge, they move towards the anode. Then, after that, you have to alkalization, that means denaturation. Then blood transfer, this is very important. Blood transfer onto a nitrocellulose membrane in such a way that it may generate the exact copy of DNA pattern on the gel. Then after we blood transfer to a nitrocellulose membrane or a nylon membrane, we have to at, at an 80 degree centigrade temperature you have to maintain for DNA annealing. For DNA annealing. For DNA annealing. Then DNA probe. I told you already, DNA probe are essential single strand uh, DNA oligonucleotides which are useful for identification of target sequence by complementary base pairing, say hybridization pattern, what we call. There, there will be a complementary base pairing simply, you know, just, just based on ATCG ratios. After that, the autoradiography. That means subjecting the same to X ray films, developing autoradiographs and hybridization pattern. Here, the DNA probe is nothing but the cDNA. DNA probe is cDNA and hybridization bands. Hybridization bands means it is with respect to specific recognition of the DNA fragment by the cDNAs. I told you already complementary basically. That means ultimately our aim has been fulfilled. Specific identification of the desired DNA fragment and here complementary DNA, what we call DNA probes, plays an essential role and the technique is auto -reading. What exactly they will do? You know, it is nothing but a localization rate and recording of radioactive isotope. No, that means radioactive labeling because cDNAs, that means DNA probes are labeled. Radioactive labeled or biotin labeled, generally they are radioactive labeled. And localization and recording the radioactive label to the images of photographic emulsions. That means they are radioactive to generate in the uh, a, a radioactivity they have to in the form of an image we can able to identify different bands, what we call hybridization bands, ultimately the task is fulfilled. That means the DNA has been done. The, the, the target DNA has been identified. That means it's detected. I told already, this is an important step, an integral step in forensic analysis, like you no know, parent will mismatch, say in hospitals, the may, babies may mismatch during this, this is important step. And also, in the last one, restriction fragment length polymorphism. That means an effect to DNA marker useful in gene mapping. This is also an integral step. That means the the, analyst, the the role of southern blotting technique is wide and is effective to in our DNA technology. Okay. Next one is northern blotting technique. 
not the important thing is I told already it is for RNA. Which is for RNA. Northern blotting technique. For RNA. D DBM diazo benzyloxy methyl paper this is very important i told you there are certain amendments across the length and breadth of blotting technique see the thing is the almost there is a similarity that means that the procedure between southern and northern is same except the kind of filter that means say nitrosolus membrane case of southern here dbm Diazobenzyloxymethyl paper. Why? What is the requirement of a specialized paper for RNA? Because RNAs are not readily reactive with the nitrocellulose membrane on animal. We there, there is a requirement of chemical reactive paper, what you call DBM. Except these enterprises the same. Say for example, you know, RNA extracts. The first step, followed by the agarose electrophoresis. Agarose electrophoresis. Then DBM blood transfer to diazobenzyloxymethyl paper, then hybridization that means DNA probes, DNA probes, finally autoradiography, which is same. Except this step DBM, almost the protocol is same. So when we come into the issue of northern blood entry, that means for specific identification RNA, the only distinction point is we use DBM, diazo benzyloxymethyl paper in case of nitrocellulose membrane because RNA cannot or may not react with the top of the nitrocellulose membrane readily. So there is a point of chemically reactive paper. This is chemically reactive paper. This is very important point. In theory, northern blood technique is very effective because through the quantification of mRNA, we can quantify the number of genes. But in practice, it is not possible because one gene may lead to two or more than RNA transcripts. It is possible. That, that, that means it is practically possible, so it is not as effective when compared to southern blood technique. At the same time, because of exon intron issues also, this tactic, this technique is not as efficacy as that of southern blood technique. Okay, the next is dot blotting technique. Dot blotting technique. Dot blotting technique. This is for both, either for both, that means DNA and RNA. I told you there are certain amendments across the technique, blotting techniques. Here, what is the difference? There is no need of blotting technique. No, that means electrophoresis technique. We can avoid the electrophoresis run because you know gel electrophoresis is a laborious and time taking process, and you know a lot of time and labor has to be consumed. This step has been readily avoided. That means it is an improvised version of both the southern blotting and the northern blotting technique. And it, it is quite advanced procedure, you know. But the only thing is just avoiding ultraforesis, direct transfer of the subjects on to the filter, that means endocellular membrane, and the rest of the procedure is same. Transfer, that means blood transfer, then the auto the hybridization, the probe, then the auto radiography. Same. That means, say for example, you know, it is for DNA or RNA. No electrophoresis. This is very important. No electrophoresis. Directly the filter membrane direct transfer of subject to the filter membrane then the hybridization is probe we knew that then autoradiography
जीन एक्सप्रेशन क्वांटिफिकेशन दिस टेक्निक प्लेस इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन एवेल्युएशन ऑफ द जीन एक्सप्रेशन क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ जीन एक्सप्रेशन is dot dot plotting simply the only difference is it is used for both dna and rna as a dna and rna and there is no direct transfer of the that means direct transfer of the stain to the filter then the hybridization the probe and the auto replication this is same okay the last one the western plotting technique western plotting technique western plotting technique this is for proteins you know here the here are the same concept the subject is the same to page polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and after this transfer to filter that means nitrocellulose membrane nitrocellulose membrane how we identify the, the, the target things simply by specific protein ligand interaction ligand is the antibodies Adolescence, you know. We knew we have discussed in our previous class that both and epitope pattern of interaction, epitope or antigen that determines on the antigen they bind specifically with that of a paratope. Just like there is specific epitope pattern and specific yet yeah, specific protein ligand interaction. The same concept. Then the first the after gel running that means through. polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis you transfer the filtered membrane that means the nitrocellulose membrane here hard identification of, of the specific desired protein is done by the specific protein ligand interaction is a ligand such as the antibody so for example you know we have done the we have seen in antigen antibody interaction of immunological reactions the same in, in, based on this concept also we can identify the means detection of uh, the specific protein that means identification of the protein is done so the southern blotting is for dna the northern blotting is for rna dot blotting for both dna and rna and western blotting is for protein so the art, uh, core objective is same specific identification of dna or rna in you know, thousands of that in a pool of or mixture of molecules simply by immobilization of the sample nucleic acid over a solid surface say the nitrocellulose membrane or an element membrane in case of rna it is diazo benzoxymethyl paper that's it so it's about the uh, issues of plotting techniques okay in the next class we can discuss some of the techniques thanks for watching